Okay, so in today's video we're going to be looking at 10 Wonder Kids and see how they progress 10 years on in the future. Uh, the first person we're going to be looking at is Jeremy Pino. In real life he's currently at Villarreal. And in this game, in 2032, we can now see that he's... <laughs> I mean his value has skyrocketed. His um, transfer value is anywhere between 94 million to 281 million, which is ridiculous. His stats are very well rounded as well, his physicals are very nice, very agile, good balance, not bad, and he's, yeah, he's pretty rapid as well, his natural finish is pretty high as well actually. His vision's extremely good, his flair's extremely nice, he's extremely good at dribbling, crossing, he's just, I mean, he's just a brilliant all round winger to be honest. After one season in the game, he ends up getting like a 70 million transfer from Newcastle. He's been there for four years. So, I mean, his, his uh, average rating is extremely high. Well, he's that Newcastle is really nice. His stats aren't overly crazy in terms of uh, his goals and assists, but I mean, his average performance is extremely high. He then gets a 113 million pound transfer from Manchester City. 2026. It's kind of crazy. He doesn't score a goal in two scenes of being there, but then uh, he starts playing pretty much, pretty much every game for the next four years, and he's averaging ten goals, ten assists, let's say, um, from then on. And I mean, he's ha he had a season where he averaged a 7.79 rating. That's absurd. I mean, he's yeah, his overall ratings are just insane, actually. 7.56, 7.79, 7.47, and 7.66. That's, that's extremely high. He got 10 player of the matches in the Premier League in 2029-25. That's absurd. Yeah, this guy's insane. In this season, he scores 17 goals, 16 assists in all competitions. I mean, with an average rating of 7.54. That's, that's actually pretty absurd. Very well rounded player. The next player we're going to look at is Antonio Silva. In real life, he's currently at Benfica. He does another two seasons with them before being bought by Real Madrid for 45 million. He then spent the next seven years at Real Madrid. The next eight years at Real Madrid. And I mean, he started nearly every game for them in the league, which is pretty insane. He's just a radio for them, right? And he's never averaged below 7.2. Oh, actually. Okay, <laughs> I lied. Yeah, 7.18, but either way, he's ridiculous. A 7 rating every season is extremely nice. And I mean, his physicals are, yeah, they're ridiculous. I don't know if I've actually seen physicals all rounded like this high. Um, it's very rare if you do. He's an absurd player again. 17 jumping reach, 15 heading. 6 foot 2, 15 shrimp, extremely good fitness, extremely good balance and very agile for someone that's 6 foot 2 as well, that's pretty insane. The 16 positioning. The 16 passing, I mean yeah, I was going to say he's a very good ball playing defender, extremely high vision, extremely high passing. And he's a brilliant centre back clearly, 91 caps for Portugal and he said Spain them for some reason. But he's made 240 appearances for Real Madrid now, and he's only 28 years old. His mentals are absurd, 17 composure, 16 concentration, 16 anticipation, I wonder what his overall attributes are. 173, yeah, I mean, he's just, he's literally a late, he's an elite centre-back, he might be the best centre-back in the game, in this save. You can probably get him for relatively cheap to start, I assume. I not I guess... If you're a big club, it'd be cheap, but yeah, I mean, he's just a must-buy if you have the money. <laughs> Next we have Sergei Pinyev, I probably butchered that, but um, 27 years old in the save now, Russian, he started off at, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that, but uh, in the Russian Premier League. He then got bought by PSG for £8 million, uh, loaned back to the team that he started at. Then gets loaned to Germany for a season in the second tier. Comes back to PSG. Ends up playing 21 games. Gets 6 goals, 3 assists. Shouldn't be bad. His rating is pretty high, 7.1. That's not, not bad. He gets a 30 million move to Borussia Dortmund. 
scores nine goals, two assists in 27 games. That's pretty. That's pretty good, to be honest. And stays there for another three seasons. Does pretty well. Earns himself an 87 million pound move to Arsenal, where he gets an average rating of 7.05, which isn't bad. Eight goals, three assists. Seven goals, three assists. But yeah, his stats overall are quite nice. There's definitely some technicals he could work on for sure. And his work rate is only seven, but he's five foot six. That's quite funny. But yeah, he's extremely fast, extremely agile. His balance is 17 for somebody that's five foot six, which I find a bit ridiculous. His natural finish is 18. His, so his fitness is extremely high, but it just doesn't work hard. His vision's extremely high. His passing's quite good. Off the ball movement is brilliant. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's very similar to Jeremy Pino, to be honest. But I'd say Jeremy Pino is definitely, definitely better. But um, he's extremely nice. You can probably get him for pretty cheap, to be honest. I mean, PSG bought him one season into the game for eight million. So this is probably somebody that, in most uh, top tier leagues, if you're starting to save at say a Premier League team, a Serie A team. A P, uh, and he said PSG, a league and team, then you can probably just buy him straight away and he'd be completely fine as a winger. Even though it says that he can play sh oh, across the front three, which is kind of insane, play striker as well. <laughs> we then have Sievert Mansvert, who's been a football manager wonder kid for years, and he starts to save off in mould. Gets bought by PSG for 3.6 million. Yeah, that's another one you can get for extremely cheap in this game. Which is ridiculous considering how good he becomes. He ends up not really get, getting much of a chance at PSG, but then gets a 4.6 million transfer to Bayern Leverkusen. See, that's like, even two years into the game, you can still get it for 4.6 million. He then plays a good amount for Bayern Leverkusen, and plays very, very average for getting a 54 million pound transfer to Man United. He starts a considerable about uh, considerable amount of games and averages pretty decent, like a 7.2 at Man United, which isn't bad. And I mean, his stats are extremely well-rounded. Yeah, he's he's a really nice player. He says he can play centre back as well. Play centre back, can DM and centre mid. But yeah, I mean, his stat spread is pretty nice actually. How good is he in this? 162. Yeah, I mean, he's just an elite player as well. His stats are extremely well rounded, 16 vision, 16 positioning, 16 stamina, 17 concentration, 17 anticipation, yeah, just a very nice play all round. <laughs> His transfer value is 80 to 242 million, that's absurd. <laughs> Next we have Arden Jashuri, he starts the game off at Luzern in the Swiss League, before getting an 11 million transfer to Ajax. And he does reasonably well there. At least he's starting like half the season for them. His um, ratings aren't, aren't very high at all. He goes to Hamburg in the Bundesliga. They must have got promoted. Because they're in tier 2 at the moment in real life. But um, has one season for them. Doesn't really do that well. Then gets a 12.5 million move to uh, Real Betis. Does four seasons there. Where his ratings go ex like, you know, skyrocket quite high. But it tends, I mean, it's only because he started to get played, right? Before, he never really got a chance to play at Ajax. He gets started pretty much every game during the league. One season has 10 assists as like a DM, which is pretty nuts. Got six play of the matches as well. You think it's a 66 million transfer to Newcastle. Seven assists both season, five play of the matches. Plays most games in the Premier League for Newcastle, who I assume are like pretty insane in this game. I mean, they're top five, that's not bad to be honest. I mean, like, he's a solid player for sure. I mean, look at his stats, 17 strength as a DM, 17 balance, 16 visions, definitely be a deep plan playmaker, 17 passing. His stat spread, I mean, his mental is actually extremely nice, 15 across the board practically there. Another just really nice player. Transfer value 80 to 240 million. Very solid stats all round. Described as an elite midfielder. I mean, that's just a brilliant, brilliant player. You can probably get, I mean, I export him for 11 million. 
He then goes for 11 and 12 million like four years down the line. So it's something that you might be able to pick up for a reasonable price for sure. We then move on to Marcus Leonardo, who is now 29 years old in this save. And I mean, his physicals are, oh, yeah, I mean, this is a ridiculous player right here. 17 finishing, 16 first touch. Extremely good off the ball movement. Very composed in front of the goal. 19 composure. 14 dribbling, yeah. His physicals are nuts as well. If his jumping reach was a bit higher, that'd be nice, for sure. But I mean, yeah, he's absurd. He ends up going to Celtic in 2024 for 15 million. Scores 8 goals in 12 games. He then, the next season, scores 27 in 38 games. That's ridiculous. Before getting a 56 million pound move to Newcastle. He then starts practically every game for them. <laughs> Averages around 15 goals a season for them. Yeah, I mean this is extremely nice. Average a 7.1 rating as well. It's a solid player. See how good he is. 168. Yeah, I mean he's just really nice, but like really, he's just an elite player, man. Elite striker is how he's described. A really good all round for sure. Solid player. Next we'll move on to Omar Campos, who starts in the Mexican League, I remember, at Santos Laguna. Ends up doing another two seasons for them, before getting an 11 million move to Sport in Lisbon. Starts most games in the league for them, does relatively well, but I mean he's still pretty young at this stage. Then gets a £47 million uh, transfer to Arsenal, doesn't do too well, but I'm pretty sure he's still definitely young at this. Yeah, I mean he's only 29 now, right? And that was in 2027, so that was five years ago. So it would have been yeah, 24 when he earns uh, 47 million pound transfer to Arsenal. It doesn't work out; they instantly sell him, which is a bit nuts. For 42 million the season after, goes to RB Leipzig, does four seasons there, does pretty well. I mean, he's averaging like a 7.2 rate in there. He then gets a transfer to Bayern Munich for 66 million. Only got to play seven games during this season, and I mean his average rating is a seven, which is pretty nice. And his stats around, he's extremely fast, extremely agile. His crossing is 13, his dribbling is 15, vision 16, position 12, off the ball 15. He's pretty strong for a wing back as well. That's not bad. 11 is not, not bad. 15 pace. Yeah, I mean he's very solid. Extremely fast, good at crossing, good at defending, good positional awareness. And he doesn't get shoved off the ball as well. His transfer value is 66 to 200 million, which is nuts. In all competitions, he averaged like a 7 rating, which is pretty nice. Seems like he was just a backup left back. But I mean, as a backup for Bayern Munich, I don't think there's any shame in that. He's still a very nice player. Next we move on to Detro Fofana, whose stats are nuts. 17 determination is very nice. That's something that you should always look for in um, Wonder Kids. Their determination stat depends kind of like how much they're going to grow and develop. Starts the game off at Mould. He ends up getting bought by Copenhagen in 2023 for 3.8 million. Scores 10 goals in 28 games for them. Then two seasons later, gets bought by Man City for 10 million. I mean, this guy's like, you can definitely pick him up for cheap for sure. Plays half a season for Man City practically, averages a 7 when he's extremely young, which isn't bad. Has three seasons at Man City, does pretty decently to be honest, then earned himself a 61 million transfer to Liverpool. He's been at Liverpool ever since. And he seems to be a regular starter for Liverpool as well. Stats aren't too bad. Pretty decent to be honest. Seven point. I mean, he has one season which is seven point five, which is pretty nuts. But yeah, I mean, like the lowest he's been is seven point eighteen for Liverpool, which is very nice. And he's an extremely well-rounded player. Look at him. Sixteen off the ball, eighteen flair, sixteen anticipation. His physicals are nuts. Fourteen strength, seventeen pace, seventeen natural fitness, nineteen agility. He's extremely good at crossing and dribbling. Finishing is pretty decent as well. In the air he's good, 12 jump and reach, 12 heading, so you could probably play him as a target forward if you wanted to. Okay, never mind, he's only 5 foot 11, but like still, 
his stats are very good. 13 passing isn't amazing, but it's not not bad. 15 work rate is extremely nice. And his transfer value is 111 to 332 million pounds. Can, considering you can get him for like 4 million one year into the save, then 10 million like two years in, that's pretty nice. Then got Elio Caprile, who is very cheap in this save, if I'm not wrong. Starts the game off at Bari in Serie B. <coughs> Sorry. And um, ends up getting a £5 million transfer to AC Milan two seasons later. Which, I mean, considering the play that he turned out to be, £5 million this early in the save is something that everybody should be taking a look at to buy. He then gets a move to Marseille for 3.3 million. And they, he doesn't do too bad. There's one season. Okay, he gets at like 7.57, but there's only three appearances. But, I mean, if he's averaging a 7, that's definitely not bad at all. 15 clean sheets. Okay, yeah. He's getting 15 clean sheets at Liverpool, 14, 16, 14 at Salzburg. Even 11 of Ari in his second season is pretty in, pretty nice, to be honest. But yeah, I mean, his stats all round are very nice in terms of his average rating for sure. And then you look at him, and I mean, yeah, he's just a very well rounded player uh, attribute wise. 30 years old in this save, transfer value 44 million to 133 million. See how good he is. 157, he's definitely an elite goalkeeper for sure. 6 foot 3 as well, very commanding. 18 positions, 16 stamina, which doesn't really matter in a goalie. 16 aerial reach, 16 handling, very good at one on ones, very good reflexes. And I mean, everything else is yellow, right? Everything else is extremely good. Very well rounded keeper. He might be one of the best goalkeepers in this save for sure. And considering you can pick him up for like 5 million in the second season, I mean, that's pretty absurd. He then got bought by Marseille for 3.3 million like a couple years later. He starts the game off in Serie B, so there's a good chance that most top flight teams will be able to sign him and should have the money. And then last but not least we have Andreas Schildrup. And I don't think his stats have really um, improved that much to be honest. Because I know at the start of the game he has like 16 dribbling. I think maybe some of them have improved. Like his mentals I think have improved actually. Maybe even his agility a little bit. But he starts the game in Denmark, gets a £7 million move to Man United, where he starts around half the Premier League games for Man United. Doesn't do too badly, and I mean, he's still extremely young at this stage. I think it's a £40 million move to Southampton. Does pretty decent. But they do get relegated that season. In their championship, he then gets sold to PSG. For 47 million, gets one goal, seven assists in 23 games with a 7.4 rating. That's really nice. And then the season later, he then gets bought by Liverpool. And yeah, he averages a seven in the Premier League. He spent a lot of time in the Premier League. It seems like, I mean, he's only 28 now, so he's only just hit his prime really. And it seems like he's only really getting better as well. Let's see what his potential is. 160. So he's maxed his potential and. I mean, his stats all round yet again are just really nice. He's 190k a week, 17 techniques, 16 passing. His vision's extremely high. Off the ball movement is really, really good. Flares, good composure, anticipation. Extremely good at dribbling, shooting, crossing. Very 17 agility. That's pretty nuts. He's pretty fast as well. His natural finish is very nice. He'll be able to play most games in the season for you as well. And yeah, he's just uh, somebody that I've managed to pick up in three of my saves for around around six to eight million pounds. And yeah, I'm going to pick him up for seven million, right? But um, I think he's a must-buy for sure. Um, for a lot of the teams' budgets that we have at the start of the season, even if you're in the Premier League, say you're in the Championship, just if you can afford him, honestly, I've bought him in every save that I've been able to. He's a wonder kid in every save. I think he's just a must buy and I think he's one of the best one kids in this year's game for sure. And that is going to wrap up today's video. I'm going to make up more of these kind of videos um, of how these youngsters have developed 10 years into the future. Um, if you did like the video, um, 
please leave a like and please subscribe. Thank you for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it.